Researchers have just mass produced a new battery, which I am convinced if this story is true, which it appears it is, will absolutely change the battery landscape in ways that are unbelievable. I, my mind is seriously blown by this new technology. Why? This is the kind of technology that will be used by the army, navy, by commercial applications, by people living in cold climates, by people living in hot climates. Pretty much this is the kind of battery that we all actually need. And guess what? It's actually cheaper than current lithium ternary battery production right now. Honestly, this seems too good to be true, but is it? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome back everyone else. Now, a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. If you want to support the channel on Patreon, I'll put a link in the description below. Really appreciate what our Patreon supporters do. This is why we're here. You make it possible for me to do this. Thank you. Now, I have reported on numerous different battery technology developments over the past 12 months since we started this channel. and. Most of those I only chose to report on because I believed that there was a real possibility that those batteries could actually go into mass production. So I only choose to talk about products where I think there's a real possibility of that battery becoming real. There's YouTube videos all over the place of these bogus videos claiming amazing batteries that are going to save the world and all this fanciful nonsense. It's, so it's the sort of stuff that gets people to click, 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 click. And it really is the kind of thing that appeals to the lowest common denominator. It's what I call clickbait. I firmly believe this story has some very serious merit behind it. Now, I can't say for certain that this battery will be commercially produced. But when we consider all the factors here that I'm going to go into, I think it's a very, very high likelihood. A new battery built by a Chinese team will be able to work in temperatures all the way down to minus 70 Celsius. Uh, that means it could work anywhere on the earth, right? Big problem with cold batteries. You go for a hike, right? Go for a hike with your mobile phone up a mountain. You'll see how well they work. They suck. They are terrible in cold temperatures. And the same problems in really hot temperatures. Massive battery degradation comes about from heat, right? Put your mobile phone in your pocket, put it up against your leg, do that for a year, you'll get significant battery degradation. That's what happens with heat. Do the same thing on your car dashboard in say 40 degrees Celsius heat, leave it there for a few hours. See, check your battery life after doing that a few times. You'll find it's probably dead, probably gone down a significant amount. Now. This new battery not only will work in extreme cold and extreme heat, it also has between 13 to 25% higher energy density than current conventional lithium ternary batteries, basically NCA, NCMA batteries, etc. And it can be fully charged in only 20 minutes. Now, temperature is one of the key factors affecting performance, battery performance. A new lithium ion battery built by a team of Chinese researchers, extends the boundaries of their performance in extreme temperatures. A team led by researcher Tang Yongbing from the Shenzhen Institutes of Advanced Technology of the SIAT, Chinese Academy of Sciences, developed a new lithium ion battery that has achieved mass production on May the 24th. And clearly, I mean, if you're not aware, Mass production is the key here. There's a million different people claiming a million things about batteries. There's um, magical batteries that will recharge themselves. There's all kinds of baloney all over the place. The key here, price and mass production. This is where this battery exceeds. The battery can work at a minimum temperature of minus 70 degrees Celsius, which is minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit, and a maximum operating temperature of up to 80 degrees Celsius. This covers the entire globe. There is literally nowhere on the face of planet Earth that you couldn't use this battery. This is China's first battery cell product with this kind of wide temperature range. And as well with a low cost and long cycle life, it's expected to reshape the battery industry landscape 
according to Tang's team and other industry experts in China. They're saying that this is truly breakthrough technology. Statistics show that this battery has a 99.1% pass rate for mass-produced products and a 99% or higher pass rate for all process steps, according to the team. They've been working on this thing for 10 years and they've just proven it can be mass-produced at a 99% success rate. That means this thing is legit. Now, currently, lithium-ion batteries can't be charged effectively at extremely low temperatures. They really don't work very well at extremely low temperatures. And safety is difficult to guarantee at temperatures above 50 degrees Celsius. Now, countries like China, Russia, North America have vast land areas and massive differences in temperature between the North and the South. The temperatures in the Northern regions of China, for example, get down to as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius in winter, while the surface temperature in some of the southern regions can go as high as 50 degrees Celsius in summer. So to develop batteries that can operate in both very low and high temperature environments, Tang's team has invested nearly 10 years of work into this new battery technology. They didn't come up with it last week. They've been working on this for 10 years. The current technology related to cathode materials for batteries is nearing its ceiling. Obviously, there's lots of battery manufacturers trying to use different cathode material in order to make more effective, more efficient, more powerful batteries. And there is still room for development in the field of anode materials to improve battery performance, says CNervePost.com. Tang's team developed a new aluminum-based composite anode material, and they used it together with commercial lithium-ion battery materials to develop new products, including lithium manganate, lithium iron phosphate and ternary batteries. You know, they're not really reinventing the book here. They're not really changing things as drastically as what people are. There's a lot of new batteries where you, there's that company that people are saying, oh, this new battery uses this entirely new material. It's an entirely new way of doing things. This is not the case here with this battery technology. They're just sort of changing the current batteries that are widely used in a fairly minimal way in order to achieve this performance. That's what's most impressive about it. Conventional lithium batteries generate lithium dendrites. That's one of their downsides. This happens from continuous use, and this affects both charging capacity, and it may also puncture the diaphragm, bringing about hidden dangers, such as battery short circuit, or just decreasing battery life. The new aluminum-based anode material developed by Tang's team can effectively mitigate the generation of lithium dendrites at low temperatures and under overcharge conditions, improving safety, according to the article on the university's official website. In terms of range, Thanks to the high theoretical capacity of the aluminium-based cathode material, the battery's energy density is anywhere from 13 to 25%, higher than that of conventional lithium-ion batteries, depending on which batteries you're comparing them to, of course, according to the team. Now, due to the excellent electrical conductivity of the aluminium-based composite anode, the product exhibits notable fast charging performance. It can be fully charged in only 20 minutes. Now, I can't find exactly the size of the battery they're referring to here on the document. But when I find more information about this battery, I'll make a new video and update the video. What about cost? This is the number one most important thing. There is amazing battery technology all over the world, but uh, it doesn't really work because it's too expensive. Well, in terms of cost, the low temperature battery product can get rid of the reliance on expensive nanoscale cathode materials and the battery cost can be reduced from its current cost by 10% to 30% according to the team. They're basically saying, we can reduce the cost of current ternary batteries, NCMA chemistry batteries, which are pretty much standard in the industry, by 10 to 30%. If this is true, this is a complete game changer. The latest mass produced products can be applied to energy storage, rail transportation, aerospace, and even aviation. Imagine how beneficial this battery would be in an aviation use where it can be freezing up at 10,000 meters elevation. Perfect. You could use it in polar expeditions, on ice fields, in deserts, especially for alpine and subtropical regions. This will significantly expand the application range of battery technology in massive fields all over the face of the earth. So as you can see, I am a little bit excited about this new battery technology. 
I honestly think there's too many naysayers. They're saying it can't be done. It won't be done. There won't be, there won't be electric aeroplanes. Well, they're already making them on a small scale. It won't be long before we see electrification of virtually everything on the face of the earth. And battery technology like this is the way we are going to get there. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.